Hello everyone, this is Srini Purnala and I'm the product manager for Hitachi Unified Compute Platform Advisor. Hitachi UCP Advisor is now fully integrated with VMware vSphere Lifecycle Manager. Hitachi UCP Advisor is the infrastructure automation and management software for all Hitachi converged, hyper-converged and integrated systems. It provides unified and federated management of compute, network and storage devices. Seamlessly integrated into vCenter as a plugin for single pane of glass experience to VI administrators. Provides capabilities like day zero rapid deployments, inventory visibility with health notifications, generate reports, lifecycle management of compute and network devices, policy-based bare metal OS provisioning, including ESXi hypervisor. Basically a complete orchestration of infrastructure. This provides secured access to infrastructure, integrates into Virialize login site for audit trial and Hitachi Remote Ops for call home functionality. Advisor exposes REST API. It's agentless and no dependency on any element manager software. VMware vLCM is a successor of vSphere Update Manager. Introduced with vSphere 7.0 and it comes with your vSphere license. VLCM framework uses a declarative or a desired state model for lifecycle operations, which enforces ESXi host consistency across the cluster, not only for ESXi build versions and patch updates, but also for vendor add-ons for firmware and drivers. Now just imagine a set of production clusters with 16 or 32 ESXi hosts. It would be a time and resource intense task to manually monitor the compliance of all the hosts in those clusters by referring compatibility and hardware interop matrices. Scheduling multiple maintenance windows for OS and patch upgrades followed by firmware upgrades. Basically this is time consuming, complex, error prone and risky. Integration of UCP Advisor with VLCM brings a great benefit to our UCP virtualization customers. Let's take a look how this works. On this environment, we have UCP Advisor registered in vCenter as a plugin and a UCP system called HSM onboarded, which has one of the hosts with older compute firmware and the other one has the latest one. If you click on one of the compute, um, go to the IO cards, you can also see older IO cards firmware with an indication of a new firmware availability in the last column. In the firmware screen, have the UCP Advisor Compute Firmware Bundle uploaded, which is just a drag and drop or you know, a click of a button. You can upload the, the firmware file. And this firmware bundle includes um, compute platform firmware, that is BMC, BIOS, and the CPLD, and also the firmware of NIC and IO controller cards like RAID, SAS, HBAs. Now let's go to hosts and clusters, uh, select updates, and select the image. Here, the VI administrators can define a desired image. 
which is a combination of ESXi base image, drivers, and firmware. As long as UCP advisor installed and compute firmware bundle uploaded, the user can choose Hitachi UCP advisor as HSM and the bundle. and save the desired state image. VLCM automated compliance check identifies the drift on the host. And you can see the drift listed here. And if you click on full image, you'll see all the components and the components which are already in compliance. And this will give an option to remediate uh, the host uh, back to the desired state. When the remediation kicks in, VLCM calls hardware support manager, in our case, UCP advisor API, to handle the firmware component. See, these are the VMware tasks with all the details, what's happening on the host. UCP advisor checks for the hardware support package, basically advisor compute firmware bundle to perform the firmware upgrade. Advisor follows the industry's best practices to validate components firmware version combinations against the Hitachi certified interop matrices based on the hypervisor version installed on the host. It verifies the health of individual physical compute servers puts the host in maintenance mode and then initiates the firmware upgrade. As this is firmware upgrade, the process involves one or more server reboots based on the compute components getting upgraded. As long as your cluster has high availability and DRS configured, there is minimal or zero application workload downtime during this process. Once the host is upgraded and back to normal, advisor moves to the next host in the cluster. This automated rolling upgrade occurs on all the hosts with drift. And UCP advisor provides task details at the component level on each host in the cluster. After the successful remediation, the host become compliant with the desired state. This integration provides a simplified full stack upgrade at the cluster level with a single click. You can see the vCenter tasks that are performed as part of this upgrade cycle. If you go to advisor, you will see the uh, the compute has 
the latest firmware now and in the IO cards you can check the the firmware cards are also flashed with the new firmware. So to summarize, UCP Advisor and Compute Firmware Bundle is what is required. And one desired state image is what you configure, which notifies compliance drift, enabling you with one-click pre-check and one-click remediate. And remember, all the upgrades happening in one single maintenance window. To achieve full stack upgrade for the entire cluster. So a time-consuming, complex, error-prone and risky upgrade process is transformed to a faster, simplified, consistent and reliable lifecycle management. Hitachi UCP Advisor is the first to get listed on VMware Marketplace as HSM for VLCM. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you want to learn more about our solutions, please visit hitachivantara.com. Thank you.